starting the vlog today um, by going to Ikea. Um, as I've mentioned, like I really, really want to finish my apartment and I'm just kind of like in this mood to finish decorating, get all the pieces. There's certain rooms like my dressing room that just aren't, they're not quite working as great as I would like them to work and feel and all that. So um, we have come to Ikea today to do a little bit of shopping. I'm looking for some storage items. Um, I also really would like some extra little items for my bathroom, like a new shower curtain and stuff like that. So we'll see if we find any of that stuff here. But yeah, anyways, we're here, so let's go. made myself a cup of tea well rather not a cup of tea actually I've made myself a full teapot of green tea so I've got my tea steeping um, I actually used this tea now I may be completely completely wrong but I believe my dad actually got this either gifted to him from some co-workers from China or he actually or this was when he went to China um, he brought some green tea back um, and it's really cool because they just come in like little individual packs um, like this and it is loose leaf tea and it is probably some of the best green tea I've ever had like it's the type that you get at like good good Chinese restaurants um, and not the ones you get like at the grocery store really 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 good um, so I steep some of that. I'm also gonna have some Craig's cookies. These are my favorite cookies in all of Toronto. If you don't live in Toronto um, and you have like a special occasion or something and you're looking for some phenomenal cookies, Craig's cookies is the way to go. I believe they also have a location um, in Yorkdale, I think, Yorkdale Mall, which is exciting. I'm just gonna set you up over here. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna have a little bit of my cookie. I have, I think, I forget what I picked up. But I think there is a pumpkin pie. Yeah, so this is my favorite cookie. I actually had this one last year and obviously it gets released like during Thanksgiving and fall. So this is a chocolate chip cookie with a pumpkin pie like piece in the middle of it. It's literally the best thing in the world. If you love pumpkin pie, it is like heaven on earth. Um, so I'm gonna warm one of those up. They're really decadent so I can never have more than one. Um, but so good. So I'm gonna have one of those with my green tea that's steeping. I also had something so beyond tragic happened. My, okay, it's not that tragic. But, um, and this is like, I guess, the one downside to getting dark nails, which a lot of you noticed and said that it was so unlike me, and you're right. I would like never ever get like, dark nails um, but I really really like them but unfortunately a day ago I had this one chip oh you can see it right there so so terrible I mean truthfully it's probably not that noticeable to like the regular person but to me it's just such an eyesore <laughs> Um, but that's okay. There's nothing I can do. I have my appointment scheduled for early next week. That way I can go and get my nails done. Uh, I'm also, I'm missing Grace. I just really, really am missing Grace. But after I have my cookie and tea, I am going to pull up all of the stuff that I picked up yesterday at Ikea. I also bought something else for my apartment. I've just been really like buying things for my apartment. Honestly, I feel like I just want to get this apartment done. Obviously the couch still needs to be purchased 
and I've decided on one so I think I'm gonna order that honestly around Christmas time um, and then or maybe even before Christmas um, and then I'm still looking for two chairs that are gonna go in front of my couch so I'll kind of show you everything so right now my living room looks like this. So I have the coffee table here. This couch is gonna be replaced. That's not what it's gonna be. But here, I wanna have two chairs. So one there and one here to kind of fill up this space, I guess. But finding a chair has been super, super difficult. Um, and I know that accent chairs are expensive, um, but I feel like accent chairs are something that I see myself maybe swapping out in the future, so I'm not ready to spend like $2,000 per chair yet. That just seems crazy. Um, and I know pretty much accent chairs kind of start at $1,000, and obviously I want like a specific style, and that's I'm not helping myself with that. Um, so I've been looking on Etsy, like Facebook Marketplace, Kijiji, um, literally everywhere and anywhere to just see if I can find like an antique chair that I really like. I've also very seriously been considering reupholstering, um, which seems to be a good option. And I don't, and I guess it depends on like what fabric you choose and where you go and who does it and the type of chair. Um, it seems to be a pretty cost effective way. And it's also great to kind of refurbish something and give it a new life instead of just buying something new. That's kind of something that I would love to do more in this apartment. Um, but I mean that's so hard to do nowadays. I feel like the way things are made nowadays They're really not meant to like pass on or to you know refurbish It's just you buy something it breaks you throw it out you buy something new, right? It's not like back in the day, which is it's too bad. It sucks because um, I think things back in the day were made really really beautifully um, But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go have this snack and then I'll grab everything and show it to you over <laughs> I've been trying to like get in the habit of having little tea breaks throughout my day especially like in the middle of the day like around lunch or even like late afternoon like three or four just to like take a moment and like just I don't know disconnect and have you know 20 minutes to have a cup of tea do some reading I'm trying to get back into reading um, which is great I've been I just had like a falling out with reading but anyways um, let me show you what I got yesterday and what I've been buying recently so yesterday while we were at um, Ikea, I had like a bit of an epiphany and I said to my mom, because it was mom and I shopping, um, and I said to her and I was like, oh my god, I think I know what my style is. Um, and obviously like I've been trying to figure out my style because it's very like, or there's different aspects like this, you know, this mirror is very ornate. I love like that French, um, French style, like very, very beautiful. But I also have some modern elements that I like. I love the warm tones like browns and oranges and greens and blacks and anything like that. Um, and so I said, I think my taste is like Parisian, like French Parisian home with a mid-century modern like Frank Lloyd Wright style. And if any of you um, know who Frank Lloyd Wright is, he's a super, super famous architect. And I knew, like I know of him because of my mom. My mom was an architect. Um, in Venezuela and so she studied him when she was in university. I actually had the opportunity with mom and dad to go visit Falling Waters which is one of his um, homes and I mean his architecture is truly so so beautiful. So anyways walking through Ikea yesterday I was like I think this is my style. It's very like modern but warm and cozy but you've got this like French Parisian style to it. Obviously I love my antiques um, and so I think I'm just continuing to play along with that style and obviously just picking out items that Spark some sort of joy or interest in me. So I start off with this super super cute little charcuterie board now I have been looking for a charcuterie board for like months um, And all of them are super super expensive. I'm, I mean, I don't mind spending money But like $300 for a charcuterie board um, seems a little bit aggressive um, and William Sonoma has some really, really nice ones, but it's just, 
it's, it's aggressive. <laughs> so I found this one at Ikea. It's perfect for me. I do still want a bigger one and I'm still in search of that. But this one is nice because it's the dark wood, which is what I prefer. I don't necessarily love the lighter wood ones. Um, and it's little. So if I'm having dinner on my own, it's kind of perfect. It's like a, a me-sized little charcuterie board. But I would think it's big enough for two people as well. Um, obviously, if you have more than like two people, then you might need um, a bigger board. But I thought this was perfect to start off with and um, you know, until I can find a bigger one. I also then got um, these placemats, which I think you will have seen me um, choose them out at Ikea. But I think they're so, so beautiful. Just like this wicker style. Um, and I've got four of those in case I have to go. I did have to choose kind of like them very carefully because some of them were more of like a green color. Others were more of like a warm color. And that's the color that I want. But I thought with my plates, it would look really, really nice. So that's the next thing I got. And then, so under this island here on the other side, I have a little like cupboard storage. And there is where I tend to keep a lot of like paperwork that comes in, like mail. And right now it's literally between a cookbook and a little like bowl with candies. <laughs> and that's just all the papers are being held by that. So um, I found one of these guys and I think it's obviously not gonna be on display, but I still wanted it to be like within my style. Um, so I found this and it's gonna go underneath my island and anytime I get like mail or papers, it's just all gonna go in here. So at least it's like a contained mess and everything has like a home i think giving things in your home a home um honestly makes organization so much easier so i'm gonna put all the papers in there and this is gonna go underneath my island once i get it all set up i'll have to show you um but again super inexpensive and if i ever were to you know do an office probably this room here this could go in there and it looks looks beautiful so that's all i got from ikea oh my god this placemat's made a little bit of a mess that could be a problem <laughs> I have to update you on the placemats because I'm not sure I want placemats that are going to be making a bigger mess. Okay, the next thing I got is actually something that I'm really excited for. And I've been looking for a throw for, I, I was kind of torn, but I was looking for a throw for either my couch or my little chair in my dressing room. Right now I have like a fur, a white fur throw, which is cute, whatever really not my style anymore i don't think it ever was but you know it, it made the room look pretty at the time and i've been looking for a really like organic um blanket i wanted really neutral tones like browns or greens or beiges and um, anything kind of along those lines and i stumbled upon zara home now i very rarely shop on zara home just because i don't know i've never really found that their style was quite what i liked um and as soon as I saw this throw, I kid you not, I called my mom and I was like, mom, I think I found the perfect throw. Like, I just need, like, I just need you to tell me like, yes, it's perfect and I can buy it. Um, and so here it is. So it is this beautiful, like kind of forest green with a little bit of beige in there, paisley print throw and you guys know I love paisley paisley is just I don't know it feels like it's so ornate and something like out of a renaissance painting um and it's just so beautiful again it's a hundred percent cotton so so beautiful you've got some little um detailings here on the side and it's quite a great size like it's a big size of a throw um oh but look at that print so 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 beautiful I'll get up close so you can see it so it's just so beautiful and literally the moment I saw this I was like that's the one it's coming home with me I think it actually it comes in more of like orangey ready tones so if like your home is that color then that would be perfect but I really wanted something that was very like earthy um, I do have some blacks um, which I thought was perfect um, so that was what I picked up from Zara home honestly so so happy with it I'm gonna play around with it honestly like right now um, to see what it looks like um, on my couches and stuff, but I'm so happy with it. Okay, next up I got some um, pillows because I do want to change my pillows so if I just show you. I've got two different types of pillows. One of them I believe is from HomeSense and I can't remember where the other ones are from. I think they might just be Ikea. Um, but obviously going off with this tone, um, I picked up these. Now I'm, I'm unsure. I'm not sold on these but these are just a like velvet green pillow 
Um, honestly, I wanted more of like a earthy brown color, but green seems to be like trending right now. So green is everywhere in stores for furniture. Um, so popular color, I guess. <laughs> uh, not quite the color I wanted, but I think with the throw, it does work really, really nicely. Um, and again, bringing that like earthiness back, I do have my like brown coffee table there, or my brown, sorry, not coffee table, side table over there by the mirror. So I don't know, I think it's gonna work. And I got these from Indigo. So I got two of them. Yeah, I don't know, I think they'll work. I'll try them on, but we'll see. Next thing I got, now I've actually had these for quite some time and I purchased these when I got my little wooden side table. Oh, is it struck tube? Yeah, I think it's struck tube. I, I will link it down below. Um, but essentially I purchased these forever ago, but as soon as I saw them, I knew that it was something that I wanted in my home. Um, and I'll pull the one out. So I'm gonna have to get new inserts for these because these are very flat. They do come with like inserts, but like look how flat that is. That's not, that's not a good look. Um, but they are these beautiful like super textured oh look, look at that fabric so textured so lovely um and again super neutral color i really wanted a lot of like organic materials in my home i feel like you know when i walked into that chateau in my bordeaux vlog you guys will have seen it um if not i'll leave it up here for you um one of the things that i noticed about that home is that there was so much texture so many different woods and fabrics and materials and honestly i love that so much about that home it felt like just really really nice and beautiful so yeah so i actually purchased these oh my god probably like six months ago now so i don't know if they'll still be available they've been sitting in my closet for months um like this one isn't even opened yet it's still like packaged up um but again if they're available i will link them down below because they are just stunning and, I, and again i'm not sold on these green um pillows but i think the actual like contrast in texture between the velvet and I don't know what you'd call this, but just the contrast I think looks wonderful. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go try this stuff on in the couch and see what it looks like. <laughs> so like I said, these are the two pillows that I currently have. This one I think, I, this was the one that I got at HomeSense. And this one, I can't quite remember where it's from. Perhaps it's Urban Barn, can't remember. Um, but I'm just not in love with those. So I'm thinking to have this nice organic fabric here. No, I'm not gonna put it on. But instead of the beige, I think I'll do something like this. Which I think creates a really nice contrast. Okay, so this is kind of what it's gonna look like. And I think with the couch that I'm gonna get, um, the pillows are going to stand out even more right now. Obviously my couch is kind of like a beigey color. So this one here isn't quite standing out, but I think that it will once I get on my other couch. And then this is going to be the throw, which is so beautiful. Something, something to that effect, I think. What do we think? I think that looks pretty. I'm not sure. Let me see. I don't know. What do you guys think about the green pillows? I don't know if I love it. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I think I really like it, but I'm not sure about the pillows. Um, I really, really wish they were more of like a organic brown, almost like the color of my, of, um, my little poncho shawl here. I think that'd be really, really nice, but I don't know. Um, alternatively, I could do something completely different. Maybe these pillows don't belong in my living room, but rather in my dressing room. So let's see. So maybe... Okay, this is another option, but I think this is not going to work. <laughs> I think the chair needs to be a different color. I feel like it's just the blanket is too big for the chair. The pillow is too big for the chair. I think it's just not working. So, uh, okay, well, it was worth a try, but I don't know if I love this. Maybe the throw with just a white pillow. I mean, this is the pillow here. I could bring this one in here. 
no, that doesn't work either. Okay, I tried my best. Um, it doesn't work in the dressing room, so I think it's best if I just, for now, um, use the green pillows in the living room, and maybe in the future I will find something that I like better, but I really do like this throw. Um, I think it goes really, really nice. Um, just to show you the textures here, I think it's gonna go really, really nice, and I'll show you all the textures. Sorry, this one's a little dirty here. Um, they've been like stored up for a little bit. This is kind of all the textures that I'm going for. So I already have, you know, my wooden table here and I have kind of this like um, distraught vibes with the book. And I just really wanted this kind of like raw feel. Um, so I think the cotton blanket really brings really brings that in this pillow is lovely now this guy's i'm unsure about but we'll see this is kind of a look at all the different textures that are in here and again the one thing that is just sticking out a little bit is this guy here so i'm unsure what do you guys think let me know if you like it um i think for now the throw is going to be on here and i'm going to keep my pillows the way they are um until i get my new couch we'll see i'll play around with it right now and see Hello, it is just past five, um, rather it's like 5.30, um, and I'm going to go for a little bit of a walk, I'm going to pick up some things for dinner. I'm also totally out of milk, um, so I wanted to pick some of that up um, while I'm out. It's only about 12 degrees, so I figured I would wear this new like shawl from H&M. It's been my new obsession because I actually purchased a like white and like cream version and I've been wearing it so so much but I felt like I could only really wear it with like white outfits and I wanted something that I could wear with like, I mean ironically I'm wearing this one with a white outfit but I wanted one that I could wear with like black pieces as well. So I'm going to show you what this one looks like in a second. I just wanted to put some um product in my hair this is my purology color fanatic multitasking leave-in spray i love this for frizz um it's also really nice because it also protects your hair from heat um so it does more than just like control frizz um so i want to show you what i'm wearing i also want to top up a little bit of my fragrance so this is my um hermes cedra sambac i think it's pronounced i'm not sure oh i wish i was better at pronouncing things mm, so good and then today in the mail, I actually received a PR package from Jones Road and I actually really like, I mean, the only product I've tried from Jones Road is their What The Foundation. And I was talking to one of my followers today on Instagram. She's right, so many mixed reviews on What The Foundation um, because it is a foundation, but I would consider it more like a skin tint, but it's a really skin-like skin tint it's really beautiful really glowy really only gonna cover up you know any redness you have on your face which for me is exactly what I look for in my products um, so yeah I'm actually almost out I'm gonna have to purchase a new one but they sent me a few products and something that they sent me today was this cool gloss now I love the color um, so I'm gonna use it but <laughs> my only complaint um, is that it is minty and I'm not sure if I like minty glosses especially if you live in canada minty glosses and like negative 20 degree weather is a no-go <laughs> um but it does look really really pretty it's kind of like the colors that i like um the shade is i don't know if it says the shade oh here nude beige is the shade really really pretty and there it goes it's already getting cold on my lips <laughs> Um, but yeah, what can I do? It is really, really pretty and um, maybe she'll come out with something in the future that doesn't have mint. Um, I know my mom like cannot wear anything, not just on her lips, but like on her body, on her skin that gets like minty because she just can't handle it. So she could not use this. Um, it would just be something that she can't use. I'm also going to top up my face with my Caudalie Spritz just as my face is feeling dry. I can tell that the weather is changing. Mm. And this just instantly rehydrates my skin. Okay, let me quickly show you my outfit. That way I can head out um, and go for a little bit of walk um, before the sun goes down. I love going out right as the sun is setting in the city. It just, it's my favorite time to walk. It just looks so beautiful, especially as like the sun is hitting all like the buildings and reflecting on all the glass buildings. It truly, truly is so magical. But anyways, let me show you what I'm wearing. <laughs> 
All right, so this is my outfit for my walk. This is my new H&M shawl. It's this beautiful like camel color. Absolutely love it. Obviously, you can use it as a poncho as well, but I've just wrapped it up around myself like a scarf. So, so cozy. Um, absolutely love it. And then I'm wearing this H&M sweater underneath. This is what I was wearing earlier. My totem jeans, my Banana Republic blazer, of course. I've been wearing this like non-stop um, and then I've got my Veja's Vieja's uh, sneakers and then my bag I'm gonna wear my um, Holland Cooper saddle bag actually let me go get it all right this is the bag that I'm gonna wear super super cute and comfy oh I'm loving all the coziness of this outfit all right I'm all ready to go and I actually swapped into my little Strathberry bag just because I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit smaller and the saddle bag is a little bit bigger um, I'm just trying to figure out that piece of hair, there we go. Um, so I just switched into a smaller bag. I also need to bring some shopping bags with me, so I'm gonna grab those before I go. But um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go and then come back. But um, I've just made myself a pumpkin latte, I guess you could say. I got the new pumpkin espresso pods, and oh my god, I've been like going through them like crazy. It's like literally the only coffee pot I drink. So I do that with a little bit of a vanilla syrup, which I actually got at Nespresso. It comes with a vanilla and a syrup. It's like a pack of two. I don't like the caramel one as much, um, but the vanilla one is really, really good. So I do that. I do like a spoon and a half of the syrup, and then it's just my like um, regular milk, my sprout milk. And it is so so good it's like fall in a cup it's literally amazing um but last night but i wanted to tell you guys last night not last night two nights ago can't remember i finished ugly love by colleen hoover um i think i told you guys that i actually started reading this because of whitney simmons she's another creator on youtube and i absolutely love her like oh what a sweetheart um and again Honestly, it was a good read like if you're looking for just like one of those mindless reads that you just sit and enjoy um, This is it um, Honestly great ending, but I feel like it's a romance novel. So like I expected nothing less So I finished that and I immediately went on to Verity um, Again super highly rated Colleen Hoover. I feel like I've hopped on the like Colleen Hoover train here <laughs> um, But I'm only 28 pages into this one now if you want a book that like hooks you in on the first line this is the book i read the first line and i was like oh my god like what is happening i'm uh, yeah i can't read it out on youtube that's probably not youtube appropriate um just a little gruesome <laughs> but um yeah i actually wanted to read the notebook instead of this one next um and I went to four bookstores yesterday, four bookstores yesterday, trying to find The Notebook, and apparently all of Toronto is currently reading The Notebook uh, because it is sold out everywhere. And I went, I was at um, a chapters and I asked the lady, she's a lovely, lovely lady, and I was like, hey, like I'm looking for The Notebook, and I went online and I was like, it shows that there's one left, but I just can't find it up on the shelf, so perhaps you have it in the back. And she goes, I just sold it. Like, it is probably being checked out right now. And I was like, no. <sighs> so sad um i don't know why i wanted i had the urge to read the notebook you know it's this movie that like so many of us have seen and i realized i had never read the book i've actually read the book the only other nicholas sparks book that i read is the best of me and oh wow did i sob like i now i had seen the movie so i knew the premise of the book and how everything ended and i sobbed like i was in my room crying over this book because it was literally just like heart-wrenching so if you're looking for a good nicholas sparks book i would recommend the best of me uh, but anyways i was trying to find the notebook couldn't find it um 
And so I ended up ordering it on Amazon and it should arrive today. And honestly, as much as I already started this one, I think I'm going to switch to the notebook and then read Verity. Um, just because, honestly, I was in the mood for something really, really light. And I get the feeling that this one isn't going to be as light as Ugly Love. Um, so, yeah, that's just a little bit of an update on my reading. I honestly did have a bit of a falling out. With reading, I just couldn't find a book that I liked and I was trying fiction, non-fiction, historical fiction, and I'm the type of person that I read anything, like I'm not stuck in one genre. Um, it just really depends on my mood and I think I just wasn't, I wasn't able to pin down what my mood was, but I'm in like light-hearted reads. Lady, my chapters said that it was such a great read um, and honestly a million times better than the movie and I could only expect none other, so. Yeah, that's just a little bit of an update. But anyways, today I'm spending the day with my mom and dad. I think we're gonna go to brunch all together. I actually haven't had both of them up here in what feels like forever. So I am very excited to um, spend the day here today. I wish it was a little bit nicer, but hopefully it becomes a little bit sunnier as the day goes on and not quite as gloomy. So anyways, I'm gonna start getting ready um, because I do have to do a little bit of work before they get here. And I've already been lottie dawdling this morning, but um, yeah, anyways, but anyways, I'm gonna start getting ready. Bye. 